I typically don't do my news updates like this, but I, this is one of those that I just have to be, I, I, I just got to be honest, and I'm quite uh, upset, I'm angry about it, and this is Atlanta Falcons news from your boy Mad Mike at Atlanta Falcons Nation, uh, Mad Mike Sports, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, tell your friend to come chat Falcons football with your boy, but, um, man, my girl, my homegirl, Tori McElhaney, uh, with the quote, go check her out on Twitter. Um, one of the best young journalists coming up. Um, I, I love her to death. She's excellent at her job. Um, works for the athletics, so you got to check her out. Um, but this comment from, and this quote from Arthur Blank really makes me pretty freaking angry. Um, you guys know my rants are legendary, and I can almost promise you that one is coming on Friday night madness i can almost promise you that this is going to be pretty epic so you guys check that out on friday um but arthur blank has not spoken to julio jones he said he tried to he seems disappointed and uh, with how things ended you want players who want to be here and this is some straight up bull crap this is absolutely bull crap you couldn't even man up to talk to the owner who gave you 66 million dollars guaranteed at the age of 30 you just took the money and ran julio and said you tr he tried to talk to julio and all the blank does not seem and hot does not seem to me to be a guy that is just told lies You hid behind your manager. You hid behind your agents and declared that you did not want to play for the Atlanta Falcons and I'm done. You use Shannon Sharp undisputed platform to say that you want it out. But the most embarrassing thing for me out of this entire ordeal is that Julio Jones couldn't even be a goddamn man and talk to the freaking owner. If you didn't want to talk to the fans, fine. If you didn't want to talk to your peers, fine. If you didn't want to talk to your coaches, fine. But the man who brought you in, who believed in you, who gave you 60 million, is signed off on $66 million contract, when you were 30 years old at the time, and that's something that they typically go against. Any franchise goes completely uh, against. Unless you're a quarterback, they don't typically give you $30 million or $60 million plus. The Falcons gave you $66 million, and you couldn't even hit up Mr. Blank and say, thank you for your contribution, you know, to not only my career, helping me get to a Super Bowl, helping me be, you know, one of the best wide receivers in the history of the game. You couldn't even stand up to do that. You couldn't even talk to Arthur Blaine. It's absolutely embarrassing. It's atrocious. And like I said, man, I'm just going to be real. And this is just my opinion. You guys can leave your thoughts. I would love to see what your thoughts is. But this this is some straight up sucker crap. The man just straight up ignored Arthur Blaine. Because he knew what he did and was going to do was on some... Whew, oh my God. It's, 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 it's unbelievable to see someone that you thought Julio Jones was. He was a stand-up guy. He believed in the teammates. He played for his teammates, and he was going to do the right thing no matter what. This dude didn't even talk to Arthur Blank. And like I said, Arthur Blank does not seem like a liar to me. And it said he tried to talk to Julio. But like I've stated before, I don't give a damn if it's Matt Ryan, Grady Jid, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley. If you don't want to be here, don't freaking beg for money more money 
and then when that contract is coming, you don't want to play for the team anymore. Because you put the team in an awkward position where they had to either keep you or get rid of you. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this. I'm absolutely disgusted by this news. That your owner tried his best to talk to you and you couldn't even talk to the man. That right there is embarrassing. That is absolutely ridiculous. You're selfish and it's showing you quit on the team, you quit on the organization, you quit on your peers, and you did in one of the most disgusting ways that I can say as a man, as a woman. If you're going to quit, at least give these guys, you know what, a two-week notice. At least talk to your boss. At least talk to your boss. I'm not happy here. I want to go. Nope. Julio didn't even do that. He ignored him. Just absolutely ridiculous. So I hope that whatever happens to Julio, it, whatever it is, he deserves it at this point. And as maybe me speaking as biased, angry, upset, all of that. But I'm absolutely disgusted by what I'm hearing. If this is in fact true from Arthur Blaine that he tried to speak to Julio Jones and he could, he did not want to talk to him. That's not man behavior. That's not what adults do. You ignore the man that gave you $66 million. He signed off on a $66 million said you were going to be a falcon for life. It came out of your mouth. You're going to be a falcon for life. And then you tell me tell everybody we mutually agreed to part ways when this man absolutely tried to get in touch with you to talk things out you didn't even want to hear it I can at least say right now with the issues going on with Aaron Rodgers is that yes he at least spoke to the organization but this crap this is just beyond, bro. And like for me, and like I say, this is the lowest of the lows. You can't get any lower than this. My opinion, my thoughts on Julio Jones as a player will never change. I think he's still one of the greatest receivers of all time. But as a person, I lost respect for him. Let me know what you guys think about this. Leave your comments below. Put your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.